you can actually run an infinite amount of Discord accounts in Firefox, Chrome, or Opera web browser using something called SessionBox. Now, mind you, SessionBox has a paid version, which I think is not worth it. And I feel like their prices are pretty crap. And I'm also not sponsored by these guys. I just found that their extension was useful in a local environment. If you really want to pay the money so you can sync between devices for, I think it's like $3 a month, which is $4 a month, expensive, basically, then you could do that. But I wouldn't. I think it's pretty dumb. So to start off, we're going to use the free version. And to do that, you need to go to the link in the description and click install. And it should do it automatically for your browser. For Firefox, it'll download it. For Opera, it'll probably download it. And for Chrome, it will actually go to the Chrome Web Store. You need to click Add to Chrome and click Add Extension. And once it adds, you will need to make sure to pin it. So to do that, go to the top right, click on the Extensions thing, and click the Pin button. For Firefox, it might be a little different, and Opera a little different as well. But you just need to make sure that it's visible here, just because it's a lot more convenient in terms of functionality if you have it pinned. Now you can go through this tour and Sessionbox has no idea how to make a video and their pacing is awful and it takes 10 years uh, for it to finish. And I'm just gonna skip over that. So you can put in your email here, but mind you, Sessionbox, the only reason to have your email is so that they can sell it to advertising because you need to pay the $4 a month to actually sync using your email. And in any case, if you're a sane person, you would click continue without an account save your emails for you know facebook uh data breaches so once you're done it'll tell you this whole tutorial thing which is pretty boring i'm just going to go to discord and log in and before you do anything you actually need to create an isolated session for this website which is actually the only helpful tutorial thing that they give you so go to the extension click on it and you need to click on the plus button that it's highlighting so i click on it and it says you can't create a session here because it thinks I'm in a new tab, so you might need to refresh it. Once again, this is why you don't pay the $4 a month. Open it up, and once it says discord.com, click the add button, and it will open up a new Discord thing, and it'll say this is your new session. Just click next through this, because if you click the X button, it will show you this tutorial every single time, because these guys can't code properly at some point. So hover over the box, and you won't be able to select an icon, because that, once again, costs you $4 a month, apparently, but you can select your color. So I'm going to pick red and I'm going to call this session whatever account it's associated with. So this might be, you know, maybe your dating account number one, dating account number two, your work account, your account with your friends, and maybe your, uh, I don't know, something else. I'm just going to make this my YouTube account and name it as such. And there's groups and groups basically organize different tabs into a group. That's kind of what groups do. But an idea on using this would be maybe having a school group and it would open up your school Discord account, it would open up your school email, it would op open up your school's website, and maybe open up your personal email if you have important emails forwarding there. Um, but in any case, I'm just going to call this one Discords, and I'm going to create a group just to show you that you can have that functionality. So click OK. And once it's done, you will see that your icon in the top right is now red, so it matches the color you picked. You hover over it, it says YouTube account. And once you confirm that it's actually active, that's when you actually start to log in. Because if you don't, then you're kind of doing this all for no reason at all. So on my right, on the monitor you can't see, I'm actually getting my credentials really quickly and just pasting them in and logging in. And once you log in, you need to make sure, oh, I'm human and have two-factor authentication. It's always a good thing to have. Um, you know, you don't want anyone stealing your Discord account with very valuable information on it, like, you know, your tax returns that you store on Discord. And once you open it up and maybe go to a different server, you see that I am on a Gamer Gunk account. Now, how do I log into a new account? Well, you need to go to the top right, click on the box thingy, close off this window that everything just pops up at you because, you know, it likes to be annoying. But once you get past the annoyance, you just need to click New Stored Session. And you go to a second login page, and you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this my alt account. And mind you, I did make a mistake. I used my main account and called it my YouTube account, but I'll show you how to change that. So I'm going to call this alt account, make it blue. I'm going to add it to the Discord group, which I could just delete everything and click on the group. Click OK. And now I'm going to log in. Ah, oh, goodness, I can't even spell my own spam email. I'm just... <laughs> such a mistake open it up and now you will see 
that I'm now in a different new account, NTTS baby. I'm gonna do it one more time, just to show you this isn't a fluke, so new stored session, same thing. And I'm going to copy my credentials while we're at it, and I'm gonna call this actual YouTube account, because this is the actual one, and change this and put it in the Discord's group, click OK, copy in the username, then copy in the password, do all this fancy stuff, two-factor authentication. And once you log in, you will see that now everything's open. But I, like I said before, I made a mistake in the actual naming of, you know, my account. So I'm going to close off all these tabs to make it nice and easy to pay attention on what's going on and not do that earlier. And so you need to open up Session Box. And once again, I'm altering one of my accounts because I named it incorrectly. So I'm going to see that there are show by site, there is show by site and show by group. So show by group would show your Discord's group that you made and show by site would do different sites. So you could have like, you know, different Facebook accounts for Marketplace and your actual personal Facebook. You could have Twitter, the one where you beef with a whole bunch of people and the one where you beef with your grandma saying how much you love her. You know, the possibilities are endless to an extent, because Session Box will probably restrict you at some point because, you know, they, they got to get their money somehow, right? So open up your discord.com and I made that mistake. So how do you edit that mistake out? Well, you click on the three dots and click settings. Now you can change this. Well, this wasn't my actual YouTube account. This was my main account. I'm going to put it as a nice purple color. I think that's purple. Click save and now it will update and you will see that if I go back to my main account tab, it now has a purple color on the icon and on the box thing on the top right. Now, let's say you close off or, you know, you go a little too in deep and you look at the news. Godzilla versus King Kong. And you accidentally close all your discords. Well, how are you going to get them back? Well, you need to go up to the top right and click on the extension. And you will see that you now have other sessions, discord.com or whatever group you have. And the fortunate thing is that if you click on it, you can open it up individually, which is nice if you just want to log into a very specific account. So I put main, but let's say you want to open them all at the same time. You actually don't have to click on every single one. Just click on the settings cog and click open all site. They forgot the S at the end, but that's okay. And once it logs in, which will take some time because you're logging into a whole bunch of accounts, you will see that you are now logged in to the three accounts you logged in before. I will show you. I'm on Gamer Gunk. I'm on NTTS, baby. And I'm on no text to speech. And that is how you have multiple Discord accounts up to infinity. And you could even have multiple Facebook accounts up to infinity. Multiple Club Penguin accounts up to infinity. This is insane. So how do you uninstall this just in case, you know, you don't like this anymore? Well, it's actually extremely easy. Open up the extension, click on the settings button and click delete all and click delete. And it will delete all of those sessions, which is a good thing. And then once that's all done for every single session, so you have no more sessions left, make sure to check by group and check by site. Once that's all done, then right click on the extension and click remove from Chrome. And now your life is significantly more inconvenient. And you know, if you are the, the, the mash, mash, the, the, the masses, the masses, the, the, if you like pain, then continue using, uh, you know, uh, Chrome without session box or Firefox or whatever you use. In any case, I love you, son. Have a fantastic day at school and keep up those dang grades or else my mama's gonna come over there and beat your way.